Hey, it's Amy Green with Amy and Art Designs. How are y'all doing tonight? Come on in, say hello. I'm not usually on the slate, <laughs> but I've been wanting to make this craft um, for um, a tray that I'm styling. And so I figured I would just come on and make it with you guys. If I'm going to make it, I might as well make it with my people, right? So come on in and say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, let me see if I can find it on my page. Um, and we are going to craft. So here we go. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're good. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, come on in and say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. If you've not um, watched with me before, if this is your first time, make sure to let me know so that I can um, say hi and we can say hi and um, drop replay in the comments if you're watching on the replay. Okay. So tonight we're going to make a faux book stack. You guys know I love to do tier trays and decorate tier trays. And I've been wanting to make a faux book stack to go with a tray that I, I'm, um, I'm going to style and check this. Hey, Sandy, how are you, lady? Come on in and say hi, everybody. We're going to, um, this should fit. So how are you guys doing? How's your Sunday going? This is vinyl. I'm just going to cut this out and weed it. Hey, Trish, how are you? I'm going to make a faux book stack tonight. So have you guys ever made a faux book stack before? If you've made a faux book stack before, drop a yes in the comments. If not, drop no. Oh, thank you, Sandy. You know what? That was um, was like a very scary um very scary day. I'll tell you how it turned out. Hey, Kim, I'll, I'll tell you guys when some people get in here. Um, no, you've never. Okay. Oh, Kim, you're going to love the faux book stack because you love tear trays. Um, so this little crate came from the Dollar Tree. These are just the words I'm going to put on the front. So um, I like the faux book stacks for a lot of reasons. I mean, one of the reasons is that they give your tray some height and you can stack something on them. Um, they're super cute, but I don't have, I don't, I mean, we have, um, oh, what is that thing called? We have a circular saw, but I mean, I don't, it's not really my to like go get the bigger, thicker wood, cut it, stack it. You know what I mean? It's just not something I do. And so, these turn into the cutest little faux book stack and you don't have to cut anything, right? And technically, like I could make a faux book stack with my laser, like I could cut a box and then, but, but like, why? Like you can buy this for a buck and a quarter. Like why do that, right? Okay, let's say hi. Um, We got Sandy's here. So we're gonna be making a faux book stack. Trish, hey, Trish is here. Hey, Sandy. Kim is here. Hey, Kim. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Chris. I'm going to tell you all about Gabe. Hey, Heather. Glad you guys are here. Thank you. It's sweet of you to message me. I'll tell you what. Oh, hey, Juanita. I think Juanita seen me make a faux book stack before. So, um, yeah, you know what? For a buck and a quarter, and it's really easy to make. Um, if you don't have a vinyl cutter, y'all, you don't have to put the words on it. I mean, I'm just doing it because I have a vinyl cutter. It's not necessary, but something else you could do. And the, I mean, you'd have to find something the right size, but like if they have a little sticker or something, um, I'm not going to do it tonight, but at some point we'll decoupage the front with napkins and we'll cut this out and make it, you know, napkin you. But tonight we're going to decoupage on the top only. Hey, Linda, glad you're here. So we are just, we're going to make a faux book stack, y'all. It's going to be fun. Um, I wanted to do this yesterday, but things <laughs> things got a little crazy yesterday. So um, Gabe's doing Gabe's doing great. Um, oh, yeah, you could do rubber stamps. Okay, that is a great idea. You could stamp on there. Yeah, that would look, you know, I was going to cut a stencil out tonight and stencil it. And like paint it and then stencil it. 
but it's a little later and i was like you know i didn't i don't know i just figured i would just hey mary beth how are you hey kim how are you so we're making a full book stack y'all um kim said she hasn't made one what about the rest of you tell me if you've made a a, a full book stack um and i'm just weeding the vinyl and then we'll start painting um so yeah yesterday gabe got hit by a car at the soccer field and um it was it was very scary the lady who hit him um was really upset she gave me her phone number i mean she was upset i was in shock i was trying to figure out what to do and um hey tammy yes me too i know i was trying to figure out i'm so grateful he's okay so I was trying to figure out what to do. I only got her first name and her phone number, which was probably not the smartest thing, but we were in the middle of the soccer field by the time she and I got to talk. And anyway, it was just, she was probably in shock. I know I was in shock. And, um, you know, I just wasn't, my main concern was Gabe. And so I went to call, a, call a text her later to get like her last name, blah, blah, blah. And, it wasn't her phone number. Well, come to find out, I mean, so that um, I found out today that um, she she called into the police station looking to say, hey, I, this happened. And she, she was supposed to call me and she didn't call me. Did you, do you guys know where she is? Is her son OK? And it, it, so she I mean, I was hoping that was the situation. Like, that's what I told told the police officer when I talked to him. Like, I'm hoping that, you know that it was just a mistake. And, um, I mean, so, and, um, it was, and she was, I texted her today and just let her know that he's okay. Um, and that, you know, we're not upset with her. We know it was an accident. I mean, you know, it, it just, it was just a bad situation, you know, and that we, you know, I mean, I hope she, the police officer said she was very, very upset. And she was very, very upset. And just, and I mean, she was very upset when I saw her. I mean, I couldn't imagine. So, you know what? It was an accident. He's okay. And the good thing is we all get to move on, right? Okay, y'all, I'm taping the top of this box off. Hey, Rosario. Hey, Leslie. Um, I have my joyful jar. I only did one. I don't know why I drew late in April. Like I, I drew a few days late. And so I don't have a lot of names in here. We picking some names tonight, guys. Um, Hey, Tanya. So I'm making a um, faux book stack for the tray. We're going to style on Tuesday night in the club. So, but it's just such a fun technique and it's easy. And you know what? You can put them on your mantle. Um, you can put them on put them anywhere, really, on a tray, on a shelf. But I just, I'm not going to paint the top because it's so light. And this is thicker paper, so the wood color is not going to show through. Um, oh, hey, Sheila, thank you. I know, right? I know, Tammy, me too. They're saying we're glad he's okay. Yes, lucky, yes, lucky little guy. Like we were in the, um, hey, Kim. Hey, Alita. So when you guys go to the um, Dollar Tree to buy these, they make two kinds, okay? They make this one that doesn't have the handles. And then they make some with handles. With like a cutout handle. Don't get the ones with the cutout handles, okay? Um, because it's not going to look like a real book stack from the side. So... Don't just don't do that. Um, yeah, these Kim asked if they, I think she, yes, Kim, it's from the dollar 25 tree. Um, they were out of stock for a long time, and um, I was gonna actually order them in bulk from the website, and then I found a couple recently. So, when you go, if you want to make these, these are like a for at least at my store that they're like an item that. Sometimes um, you can find them and sometimes you can't. Let's do the Vaseline on this one again because that was kind of fun. 
Oh, yep. Hey, Sue. Thank you. I know. I'm so glad he's okay. I'm going to do the Vaseline kind of like we did on the, the birdhouse just for fun. Um, I'm not going to use as much as I did on the birdhouse, but we'll just see if this doesn't give it a fun look. Um, so yeah, they're like, this is, these Dollar Tree cr crates are like hit and miss. And so like I was saying, yes, I could cut a box, make a box on my laser and then, you know, blah, but like, why? Like, it's just, it's not worth it when you can go buy this for a buck and a quarter. I mean, it might look a little more off, like th these look really authentic. I mean, you can see the slats, but they look really good when they're done. So, I mean, you guys can tell me what you think, but I think there's, and they're the perfect size, I think for your trays. So the Vaseline method, we did this with the birdhouses we made the other day, guys. I'm just putting a little Vaseline on here to um, make it look a little aged because the it won't soak into the um, wood where you put the Vaseline. And I'm kind of trying to put it on the edges and in the middle where the spines are. So, um. Oh, but Juanita hasn't seen the Vaseline trick. Well, I'll tell you what, this is, this gives it a nice age to look and it's easier than sanding the heck out of it. So, and you know what, you can put more or less depending on, on what you want it to look like. Like if I want it to be like on the edges to be weathered, I can just go like this. Let's try that. Let's just see how this looks. We'll just rub it up and down on the corners a little bit. So yeah, Tammy, y'all, if you see these, just stock up because you can, okay, literally you could make this one of these for every single tray and I'll try to like work and not stop and chat. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to try and work actually because they don't take long. Um, if I wanted with, um, with the Vaseline trick to have a, a color co show through on the bottom, I could like paint this white. And then I could do the Vaseline after the paint was dry. And then I could put the, the other color on top. Girls, I'm going to use this paper on top because it matches the tray. <laughs> and um, and so I'm going to just paint this navy because I'm... Okay, I was going to paint it white, but I don't have any navy vinyl. And I decided against the stenciling. So this is where we're at on a, a Sunday night. Is tonight Sunday? It is Sunday. Um, So, hey, Diane. Hey, Julie. Yeah, the paper's fun. Y'all, it came straight from Hobby Lobby. I did not special order it. So, I mean, actually, it's so funny because Jennifer Radin from Canvas Sign Designs, you're my bestie. She was like, oh, my gosh, I just bought that paper. Like, she bought the paper because we, we share a brain. Let's see. I didn't put a lot of Vaseline on here as much as I did with the birdhouses. So, we'll see how this goes. I guess I don't need to hold it yet. Um, so we're just going to paint it, y'all. Um, this navy paint covers really well, I think. We'll see. And I'm not using the sponge on this, you know, like, but I want to get in between these cracks. I'm just using an angled brush, but we're not doing any fancy painting, so I don't feel like it needs to be anything fabulous. Yay! Thank you, Trisha, for, Trish, for the sprinkle. Um... Hey, Diane. So, yeah, these are just, we're making a faux book stack. And these are crates from the Dollar Twenty Five tree. Like I was saying, they're like, they were out of stock on back order for a long, long time. So, if you see them and you want to do this, grab, you know, several. Um these you could even, okay, guys, let's think about this. You could even go over this just with a decor wax, right? And just age it a little bit. Um, and then you would have a really cute um, crate that you could set this way and fill with tchotchke little things um, and put it inside of your crate. So there's more than one use for these in your tiered tray. The size is perfect. So when you're thinking about adding some like, so... Um, in the Joyful Crafting Club, guys, I'm going to put uh, like a, mm, we call them lead magnets, but it's like a little printable handout thing that tells you um, how to shop your house and great pla other places for like um, tier tray decor. 
because I'm all about like making add in extras, but not breaking the bank. Right. Thank you. Yeah. This is from the dollar 20, 25 tree. Um, you guys all see me make these cause these are just fun. They are just fun. Like, um, for that tulip tray, you could make that little wood crate and then fill it with like lay faux tulips on the inside, like cut the stems and you do all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to paint this and then we'll turn on my dryer. So what do y'all do? What do y'all do today? Joe and Nate were camping with the Boy Scouts all weekend. And so <laughs> I'm driving down the freeway. I can laugh about it now. Not the freeway, but like I'm um, 315 North would here, which is, it's just a road once it gets to where I was. It, it's a freeway before there, but then it's a road. At that point, it switches. So I call him, you know, and I'm like, hey, don't freak out. And he's like, okay, when you call me and say, don't freak out, I start to freak out. And I'm like, no, don't freak out. Like, it's all okay. I just want to tell you what happened. It's going to be all right. Everything's fine. He's like, what happened? And I tell him. And he, like, loses it on the other end of the phone legitimately. Joe, if you're watching, you know that this is true. And um, he loses it. Like, um, and, but you know what? It was all okay. I told him I had it under control. Okay, we've got some questions. Yes, this is from the Dollar Tree. My kids call it the Dollar Treat. This is you get, <laughs> there's lots of treats inside that store for a dollar twenty-five. Yes. Um the Vaseline. I'm gonna show you what the Vaseline does. We use the Vaseline on these birdhouses we made on I can never figure out which way things are. The birdhouses we made last week on coffee and crafting. And you see all that chippiness, that really cool distressed look all over the birdhouses. That's what the Vaseline is going to do. So um, that's what the Vaseline does. Oh, Chris crafted with a friend. Hey, Angie. Kim. Oh, Kim's boy's got a green stripe. Girl, that's a big deal. Woo. Celebrate that. Um, yeah, the birdhouse is dead. Oh, you're watching me and Miss Tracy. Tammy, you're cheating on me. I mean, if there's anyone to cheat on me with, Miss Tracy would be the person because she is awesome. Tracy is amazing. What's Tracy making? I'm just got this out. This is painter's tape so I don't get navy on the top. And then I'm going to go back and try and get the, um, go back and try and get the the little light because the navy's dark and I don't want the stuff to show in there. I might have to get a, a finer paintbrush. But yeah, it's super cute. If you haven't made one, if you've made one, let me know. Um, get some water. But yeah, we... um. So, Kim, the plan was to cut all of the bird trees yesterday, but that got derailed. So, the bird tree, the bird houses are getting cut manana. Um, I'm also guest crafting in Stacy's uh, decorator and DNC club, the decorators and crafting club tomorrow. Oh, it's, oh, are you, um, are you watching the replay of their crafter noon? They're so fun. Those two Tracy Gibson. Love me some Tracy Gibson. Print cut craft is Tracy's stuff. She does a little, she does, um, cricket tutorials. Among other things, she's a printable club. Um, can we see that? So some of you guys haven't made a book stack. You can get little cubes from dollar twenty-five stores that can be decorated and put on the tier trays. Tell me about the cubes. Are they like? 
Are, are you mean like the dice? Tell me what you're talking about, Linda. Because I'm intrigued. Um, I am intrigued. What, what are they? So yeah, tell us about that, Linda. And then, um, oh, when you're, no, I don't think so. I'm in, like, I'm like in her group. Like she has like a, a private group, Leslie. Um, but I'll post, I'm sure she'll, we'll post pictures of what I made afterwards. She always does that. Um, like she teaches people to like, they do like decorating tutorials and crafting tutorials. Um, okay. That's looking good. So little wood, there are little wood boxes that come apart. Oh, Tammy says, okay. So Tracy and Tracy are both doing part of the kit. So there are two two inch boxes that come apart. Okay, I'm gonna have to look for those. I don't think I've seen them. Are they in the crafting section? Um, let's see here. I'm just gonna get rid of my um, paint. My paint. What are those called? Like the drips or the, like the bumps? I'm going to hit this with a dryer again. And we're going to see how it goes. All right. You guys are sweet. You know what? I just probably have messed things up enough that I can get it. I've been making stuff my whole life. Like I started when I was little with my dad, you know, and it just, just been doing it my whole life. You guys are going to, I did such a good job cleaning out my desk that I put something away that I need. <laughs> I'm a mess legitimately. So I'm just going to dry this off. And when the paint's dry to the touch, you can start rubbing that Vaseline off. It's just right here. I want this. This to rub the Vaseline off. This should be, this should be good. Okay, yeah, post a picture of what they look like. That would be great. So this is just, y'all save your old t-shirts. I'm sure you do this. But don't throw them out. Just cut them up into little pieces. And then you can use them when you craft, okay? And for those little, yeah. So, Leslie, we were talking about that. These boxes, if you find them, um, like buy what they have, okay? Because they do, they go out of stock. And I almost... I almost bought, like, almost ordered them online, like, in a, like, have them, but you know what, when I was looking, they were still back ordered for months, so when you're, when your um, paint is kind of dry to the touch, you can go back over it with this, and um, rub the edges, rub, rub the Vaseline off, and see where I kind of put it on the edges, it's kind of, this, and this means um, less sanding. You know, y'all know I probably will sand it. We, it is messier for sure, though, when you um, sand it with the Vaseline because that Vaseline kind of gets on the paint when you rub it off and it gets up really super chunky. Let's see. So, yeah, you just want to get in there and see. There we go. Nice and worn, and that's where you want it to be worn. They're like little drawers. You mean the little boxes from Dollar Tree? Oh, hey, Amy. Is this is Amy from Amy Sews? Thank you, my friend. She is in my my business group. You guys have she is so much fun to watch online. And she is crafty and can sew. I, I, you all know, like, I'm in awe of those textile artists because, 
you i mean i have two sewing machines i can't use them <laughs> and we know we're just gonna be honest about that right i think this one's gonna be the front i like this one better we know i cannot use my sewing machines that is the truth um so i'm gonna hit this with the sandpaper before we just a little bit because you guys know I can't help myself. Like, I have to sand it if it's wood. I don't really think you'd have to. Because it really does look very nice. I mean, the thing about this um, Dollar Tree wood is that the paint just goes right into it. So... This gives you a more, um, it's a good question. So when you sand the wood here, let's go on this side. I'm going to take my sandpaper here. I'll just show you guys. You see how you get, that's kind of the look when you sand it. And it's just a little more work. It's a little, um, just a different distress look. Whereas when you go in, with a Vaseline, you get these big, like, chippy chunks. It's just a different look. Um, it's a little easier, too, to get that look. Whereas with the sanding, especially with a darker color, you got to really go after it. Okay, Tammy's been sewing. She sewed something that um, she keeps her blankets in that matches her bed spread. Oh, my gosh. I just, you know what? Um, I have, I really, I bought a sewing machine that will do like monograms and I just never, it was, it has been, it was before I got my laser. That's how long I've had it. And I just never, I think the whole process kind of intimidated me because you've got like the fabric and then you've got a hoop. And then you've got the backing and you have to like spray the, the fat. I don't know. I just, it was just a little, I was a little overwhelmed and I just have never taken the time to sit down and um, do it. And like I said, I'm not really, a, uh, um, I never really learned to sew. So, all right, we're going to put some Mod Podge on top. Um. Someday I'm going to learn to use it and you guys are going to be impressed. You're going to be like, wow, she finally did it. So Tammy, I got the machine. Okay. I got it on Craigslist. I'm 99, either Craigslist or Facebook marketplace. And I got it for like a great price. Someone had bought it and they thought they were going to use it and they never used it. <laughs> and, um, and, and she, um, so she never used it. This is Mod Podge, y'all. It's um, the matte Mod Podge that I always use. Um, she never used it. And so she sold it and I got it at a killer price. And I have never used it, but I'm not getting rid of it. Let's just, let's just be real honest about that. And if Joe is watching, Joe, you know, I'm not getting rid of it. Because I like my crafting things, even if I don't use them regularly, right? I'm not getting rid of it. So, okay. I got the edges really well. You guys know that's like the part that is, um, because we want our paper to stick. Yeah, it's a, it's a neat little machine. Okay. It is a neat little machine. I will say the one thing that Gabe, Gabe does not want to sleep in his own bed. My kiddo that got, um, waxed by the car and so he is in my bed right now and I'm fine with that like Joe's up there with him and then he just needs to be with mom right now which is he doesn't want to sleep alone and I, I cannot blame him that had to be so scary You made the bridesmaid dresses, Tammy. Oh my gosh. Tammy, <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my gosh, I bet they were gorgeous. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. So I am going to do, I'm going to do like the lazy person. Well, I don't know if I'll be super lazy this time. Let's see. And then we get a little over the edge. I just want to make sure I have navy on top because maybe I'll scoot it over. I want to make sure I've got navy on top because the whole thing is navy, but I don't want it all to be navy. So maybe we'll do this. So I'm just taking my fingers around the edge and I'm going to just cut kind of just to the outside. And then we're going to iron it on with my paper. Where's the paper? All right. It's here somewhere. It's usually right here. We got to have the parchment, y'all. Oh, Dina or Diana? Diana. I don't have my glasses on. Diana did the bridesmaid dresses. Tammy did the bridesmaid. We have some serious artists in here. Oh, my gosh. I'll tell you what. I just. Okay. The one time I tried to sew something. I got a dress from this, this dress from the thrift store and I was like trying to resize it. I don't know. I was like 20 or something. And my mom can sew. Like my mom sewed all of our clothes growing up when we were little. But she never, I don't know, she just never taught us how. I, th I feel like she taught me how to, like, she taught us how to, like, thread. Okay, I've got, this is a craft iron, if you've never done this. I um put them on podge on. I put it dry to the touch, and I'm going to iron it right on there, okay? And I've got parchment paper. Technically, I could just take the iron and press it on, but I don't want to ruin my paper. Like if this has got junk on it in this way, it can kind of just slide around and it's just a little barrier keeps your paper clean. Okay. So, um, it's thicker paper. So it takes a little longer than if you're doing this with a napkin, but my mom did, she like taught me how to set up a sewing machine and I could, you know, go forward and I can make like a little pillow. If I go in a square, I've attempted a zipper, but I was trying to like resize a dress and she was like, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Jimmy. Jimmy's here. Jimmy, I cracked up at that comment you left about how your husband would go ballistic because I was like, I mean, you are like the calmest, you know, just so sweet and always so loving. And then you're like, yeah, my husband would. And my husband did. He did lose it for a hot minute. Hi, honey. What's wrong? No. You want to come say hi? He doesn't want He doesn't want the video to go viral. He's afraid if he comes and says hi that I'll go viral. And then he won't be able to go to Walmart. Oh, take, take the small dog, please. Take the small dog. Joe's over there. Um, Kim used to make her clothes. And Michelle took a sewing class. You know, it's... I One of my girlfriends posted a bunch of, like, embroidery art that she had done recently. And I was like, oh, I should start doing that. And I was like, Amy, stop. Stop. That's the thing about us crafters, right? Um, this has a cord on it, Leslie. Crafters, we want to make all of it. I mean, you can take it off, but it's it's fucking. Um, but we want to do all the things. Okay, so the next step, guys, we're just going to check to make sure that it's on there. And it is. You just want the edges on. So I did, I did what I was supposed to. And so now I'm going to take my sandpaper, preferably clean sandpaper. Oh, my gosh. Tammy did the whole thing. Oh, my gosh. My mom, I know she can still sew, and my aunt can sew, because my aunt will, like, repair the kids' clothes, or, like, when they were little, my kids were so tiny um, that we had trouble <laughs> getting their pants to stay up, even with the little things, and then, um, and, 
um, the little like button things. And so she would put extra elastic in them. Okay, Mary's saying that the embroidery machine is fun and easy. Okay. I even bought some stuff to embroider. I thought it would be, I mean, like I love those little bags. I love to do monograms. I love those little bags that go, that you like zip your stuff up in your purse. Like I have a bag for everything. I have a bag for my makeup and I have a bag for my lips, like my lipstick and my chapstick. And I have a bag for like pens and I have a bag for like miscellaneous like I have everything in a bag in my purse and not because I'm super organized because if I don't do that no one will ever find anything and I'll spend all day searching for crap in my purse um you can ask Joe I frequently so um Oh, so I bought these little bags to put monograms on, but I'm just going to have to figure it out. I love monograms. I love putting my, I love to put like personal touches on things. So dish towels. Oh my gosh. You guys are all so talented. I love it. I love it. You guys could teach classes and but Kim, I can't hand sew. Like, I can't do any, like, hand. I did used to counter, um, do counted cross stitch when I was younger. I did counted cross stitch, and I did. I had a bunch of, I'd have a bunch of dental work done when I was younger. Um, and so, my mom took me to, like, Michael's, and I picked out all these counted cross stitch things to do when I was younger. Tammy, you're the only one in your family that says, well, I'm the only one that does anything like this now. I mean, I'm not, nobody, I kept thinking I need to get my mom to come up here and craft with me sometime, right? I mean, she used to do all of this and we always had like a big drawer full of like craft stuff and craft books and we crafted I mean we did a lot of like I mean not just woodworking with my dad but we always were making stuff she always had like activities for us to do we had this set of like it was kids craft encyclopedias you guys remember, did anybody's kids have those okay look how cute this is looking see and I love how the, the sanding it on the edge, it just kind of, it takes that paper right off, but it also gives you kind of a funky edge, okay? Let me get this all the way off. So, I was thinking I should get her to come up. She's kind of a perfectionist, though. Like, she doesn't like to do things unless it's going to be just right. And I don't know. I don't think anything that I do is perfect. I think you just kind of try and you get there. Isn't this looking cute? Okay, so I was looking at the tray we did in the Joyful Crafting Club. And I was like, okay, it has a lot of pastels. Or mine does. has a lot of pastels. has a lot of bright colors. And I think that the navy just kind of anchors it and so gives it some sophistication. And it's not as... Um, you know, just gives it a little more like grown upness. Okay, that's what I like. I like that. I'm glad that I scooted the paper over and got some pink in there too. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my words on. See, this one is quick. My hands are cold. Okay. Loving it. I know. See, and the Vaseline just really. See how cute that is? It just worn. That's going to be the back because I don't like that as much. I'm going to do this. I have no idea where my baby wipes are. So we're just going to get a paper towel wet. Thank you, Diana. So yeah, this is just going to be a little. All right. So I'm going to get um, some transfer paper. Get all the dust off of here. So if you wanted to, like, and you just wanted, like, a little riser, you could stop here, right? This could just be any of a little riser. I would seal it, and then, um, and that could be, like, you know, because it gets set on your tray like this, and you could stack something on top, right? 
you put a little watering can with flowers in it, and then you're adding some height to your tray that way, right? So you could stop at this legitimately. And this would be like a great thing to add to your tray, right? Quick and simple. Um, but we're going to keep going and we're going to make it into a book stack. This is transfer paper. Hey, Candy. Um, this is transfer paper and... I bought it by accident. I mean, this ro roll is huge. So I'm just going to pop my paper, my words. I have the words bloom and grow on here. I just cut them out on my silhouette. And I just use a type font that matched. Because um, our tray had like a scripty font and a type font, right? So I just used a type font like a typewriter font so that it would all kind of coordinate. And um, I'm gonna cut around these and then I'm gonna make sure that they're pushed in. This vinyl, it's not my favorite brand of vinyl. I got it from Silhouette a while ago, and I just, I don't know. I mean, I've got it, so I'm going to use it. But I think the, um, oh, what is it? not? It's not the Orcal is really probably my favorite. Man, that stuff weeds like beauty. Um, okay, Anita's saying she did the Last Supper on printed fabric. What? I would love to see that. So did you have it, was it like printed on fabric and then you like added detail with sewing or did you actually like embroider the whole thing? Okay. I'm going to use my handy dandy rubber scraper and I'm just pushing the words down onto this. Okay. Yeah. You can't see the words yet, but you'll be able to in a minute because they're white. Um, okay. Is anyone on here? Did anyone watch the last kingdom on Netflix? I kind of want to know. If anyone did. Let me see which one is our front. This is our front. Okay, you've never used transfer paper. So, it's just, um, when you, um, when you cut from your vinyl, right, and you're going to put it on here, you have to um, weed your design. So you pull the negative space away, and then you're left with a positive space, right? And then um, I think I want it to be. And then you put it onto your surface like you peel. I'll show you. Let me just show you. So I think you want to see when I peel this off, the paper is, the words are on here. Okay, Michelle has not watched The Last Kingdom. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try not to get my big head in the camera. So... I don't think that's exactly straight. The great thing about it is you can usually, you usually have a little play with your design. Okay, the, the one place that I struggle the most with with the, with the vinyl is spray paint. For some reason, man, that stuff, because I made a lot of door hangers and I would like spray paint them and then put, if I put vinyl on them, oh man, that stuff just... 
Where do you get the words? I cut the, the words on my, um, this is a good question. The words I cut on my silhouette. Um, if you have, if you're watching and you have a cricket or silhouette, tell me which one you have in the comments. And if you don't, um, oh, look what I just did. That's all right. We'll fix it. Okay. Don't do that. And if you don't, then say no. So I got the words from, um, so that's where I did. And then we're going to peel it off. We're going to start on the edge. Where's my little tweezers? Oh, Chris. Girl. Cricket. The silhouette software is the best. No, no. Diane, you don't have a silhouette or a lace. Um, I thought you had a vinyl cutter. Kim has it. She doesn't know how. Cricket. Okay. Oh, Kim. Yeah, I know the silhouette is. Okay, see? I think like. Okay, I think part of my problem is this vinyl is not great. And the other part is the Vaseline. So we are just this. I mean, the only reason I'm using this is because I have it. But we're going to seal it. So it's going to be just fine. I think. Yeah, this is not my favorite vinyl. You have the joy in the maker. Kim says, you're very hands-on. You have a scan and cut. Okay, you know who teaches the scan and cut, Mary Beth, is my friend Amy. But she does it all for fabric. I I'm pretty sure. I mean, I think she does some other stuff. Amy sews that popped on and said hi. She does this, the brother scan and cut. I am a hands-on learner too. Okay. I've always had a silhouette since they first came out. I'm going to fix this real quick. Um, oh, Kim. Thank you. Woohoo. Thank you, Kim. You're down in the Hawking Hills, weren't you? How was that? Um, I do think that when you're learning a vinyl cutting machine or whatever, like that having a vinyl cutting machine, a laser machine, uh, those machines that use SVGs, like having some support is, is important or like a good YouTube channel or a visual because it can be um, like that's, that's really how I got started laser cutting was I already knew how to use the silhouette. I understood how it worked. Well, the words, I wanted to put the words over here. That's all right. It's going to be fine. We're going to go on this side. Um, and it was just a really easy transition from the cutter to the laser. For me, it was. But I think having somebody, let's pick some names. All right, Kim C. One in the jar, Kim Carroll. Let's pick a few more. We'll pick some at the end, too. Let's pick, pick a few more. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. And we landed on Kim again. Let's pick someone else. Mary Beth. Woohoo, congratulations. And Leslie Tabor. All right, ladies, we'll pick some more at the end. Woohoo! Congratulations, ladies. I'm going to draw. What is today? Today's the 16th. I need to draw tomorrow. Um. Okay, Linda does t-shirts. Yeah, I think, like, you need to start with something simple. Um. And then go from there. I, I mean... 
at least I, I mean, my first project that I did ever was just the word joy and I cut it out and um, put it in a picture frame for Christmas. That was my very first project. It was not fancy. Okay. Actually, Dollar Tree has really good vinyl. I just think that their white is a little gray. I mean, they're they're um they have really really good vinyl. And this is just a little struggly because of the Vaseline. These are sizer, these little sizer um, tweezers. I love them. Okay. Oh, Lynn just got on from Vegas. Hey, Lynn. Welcome. So we're making a faux book stack. Um, for a tier trade decor, we can just add it. Okay, just for an extra piece. And this little box, if you didn't hear, came from the Dollar Tree. Um, the Dollar 25 tree. You want to get the crates without the handles. And um, we were talking about different ways to use the crates, right? Oh, Kim, you made stuff for your, oh my gosh. Your daughter-in-law lives in Texas. She was the, oh my gosh, how cute. Oh, I love that you did that for her. You know, moms need help. I will tell you, like the last few weeks, we've been so busy. And if it was not for my mom, my kids would not get to everywhere that they needed to get. Because we have six activities on Wednesday nights, guys. Which is not okay. Um, but I've got two of those are speech. We have two speech sessions on Wednesday nights because both of my, my oldest and my more for language really. Okay. So this is bloom and grow and now we're going to seal it. Diane, I know we were talking. So I grabbed the satin because I wanted to really seal these well and it's a little bit. Um, glossy-ish, but not a lot, but I have no reason to think this. However, I believe that it puts a better seal over the bloom and grow and over the vinyl. And I don't know if that's because I can see it. I've never tested it. This is just like my own brain hypotheses. Okay. So I'm going to go over this, but do you see the difference in the paint color too? Once you seal it, I love that about the sealer. This is the um, DuraClear Satin. So I should have done my paper first, but I didn't. I'll just switch brushes. I'm just putting a nice coat on here. And I'm going gently over these words because they were not happy about the Vaseline. Okay, so... I'm just going to put a quick coat. Um, I love the DuraClear sealer, guys. I mean, that, that's a big bottle that I have right now of this satin, but because um, I like to use it on door hangers. But um, you can get the little bottle, and it'll last you a long, long time. I have them in all of the... I have matte, satin. No. They have glossy matte ultra matte satin i have all of them i've not used the glossy and i have their triple thick i've not used that i heard that the triple thick is really good for coasters so someday when i get a hankering for making coasters hey amy that's my friend amy from wix wax candles um I saw that you opened um, Act Live Life's box. I'm going to open one too tomorrow. So I'm glad you have it because I was going to 
say something to Jessica because Amy and I are both in our late, we're like peri, okay, I'm going to say I'm perimenopausal. I'm not going to talk about, I'm not sure where she is in the journey, but I am definitely in like the, we're trying to get healthier, right? I'm glad you guys like this. It's so fun. Um, this sealer is Deco Art DuraClear. You can get it from Amazon. You can get it from Michael's. It depends. Michael's depends what they have in stock. The first time I ever found it, y'all, I was in Pop Shelf in Myrtle Beach. Last year, we went to Myrtle Beach for spring break. This year, we canceled our trip because we were just so busy and overwhelmed. And we were just like, we just can't go out of town for a week. So we, we went nowhere for spring break this year. But um, now see, this is going to bubble up a little bit, um, which is fine because I'll show you how to fix it. Um, it does, sometimes it doesn't usually bubble up, but it did. My iron's still on so we can fix it. Okay, so I'm going to hit this with my thing and then I'll, let's see. So... It's linked on my link pop and then on like the link on my profile page. But um, the little bottles, guys, are like three bucks, two bucks. So don't pay. Do not go on Amazon and pay $8 for one of those little bottles just for to get free shipping unless you just can't get to the craft store and you really want it that badly. But if you can wait until you get to like a craft store, uh, Michael's, I don't, I've never looked forward to Joanne's. So, ooh. I got myself a big old, I got a big old blob. So, um, yeah, you know what? Okay, I was going to open it yesterday, Amy. Amy's saying her box is amazing. But, um, you know, we had the whole, like, small kid get hit by the car thing happen. So, um, I'm super excited. But we can use it because Amy and I have been talking about, um, I did my workout this morning. I walked the dogs. I did my Denise Austin workout. And so that's another thing. Okay, let's talk about this. I love Denise Austin because she makes me feel good about my myself when I'm working out. And um, usually I just feel bad. Usually I just, just feel like I can't keep up. But like she's got something for everybody and all different levels. And so I did it this morning. And um, I got her, she has a new tennis shoe line with Easy Spirit. And I got the Mel E-Move tennis shoes. So, you know, my foot's been broken for a long time, like since August, and it's still healing. I, I have this thing I have to put on my foot at night. And so, anyway, all that to say that I got her shoes because for a long time, I could only wear like these shoes that had like no anything in the bottom. Let's try and fix this. The bubble. We're just going to take this, put it back on top now that it is dry. And we're going to hit it with our iron real quick like this. And try and press. And it usually presses right back down. Okay. Um, and so. Um, but those E-Move, Denise Austin Mel E-Move shoes, those tennis shoes, those are the most comfortable tennis shoes I've ever had on in my life. I mean, and they have today, Easy Spirit on their website has free 30% off, and then you can get an extra 20% off with Denise Austin's, um, like, she has like a code, Denise Fit. Anyway, if you go to the Easy Spirit website and search Denise Austin. It'll give you the 20% off. So you get the 30% off and then 20% off. So I got the tennis shoes for 60 bucks and I got the pink ones and I've been wearing those for a few weeks and I love them. So I got the black ones because you can't wear bright pink with everything. Um, so, oh, Amy, you walked two miles. Okay. So I'm trying to get in at least, and then we'll go back to crafting, but I'm trying to get in 10,000 steps a day. And my average right now is like 90 on my Apple watch. It says nine, like 94, 9,500. So I'm like 600 short. I don't know what I've done today. Let's look, but like, seriously, mm. let's see where we are. Uh, I'm almost at my 
I got my exercise minutes in. I did not walk two miles, girl. Um, but did I get my... I did get my 10,000 10, steps in today. All right. So there. See that? See that went right back down, guys. If you do... Okay. If you seal this with Mod Podge, this is the other reason I don't like to seal with Mod Podge. Let's say I seal this with Mod Podge and I dry it to the touch. Okay. And then it bubbles up. And then I want to go back and push it down. You know what happens is that your parchment paper is going to stick right to this. But this, if you do that, because the Mod Podge is going to reactivate and then you will have effectively ruined your project because you have this gorgeous project and you're trying to get the bubbles out of the craft paper. And now you've got parchment paper stuck to it because that Mod Podge reactivated and it stuck together. Now, do you know how I learned that? I did it. Like I was like mindless enough to, to iron the parchment paper on to my Mod Podge seal project, which is why I use the DuraClear to seal because you can do that. It's nice and flat. I don't have any bubbles and I can pop that right back down. So just a little tip. Um, yeah, Leslie, this is the same paint from our, our tear tray kit. The, um, it's on the supply list in there, but it's navy blue, just full part navy blue. Okay. Now, if we want to, we can. I don't know if I want to. I feel like the box, I don't know. I was thinking about putting um, like beads. Um, I mean, I've, I mean, a lot of my talent comes from mistakes. <laughs> you guys say I'm so talented. A lot of it just comes from screwing things up. Um, okay. Let's help me decide about the jute. I was thinking about doing jute and then adding some beads. What do you guys think? I think so. What do you think? What do you guys, yeah? Yes, okay, tell me yes or no in the comments to the jute. I mean, maybe not exactly like this, but the problem is it makes it stand up. You're gonna have to, um, it's, it makes it wobbly. Um, I did get white ribbon out, but jute, but no beads. Jute and tiny flowers. Tiny flowers would be really cute. I don't have any, I have some. I have this, but I don't know about this. Let's look. What do you think about the white? And jute, maybe. Sue's saying jute. Let me see if I have thinner jute, because this jute is thick. Maybe this. It's in a, okay, it's inappropriate when you have multiple widths of jute. I mean, so I've got like, I have like four or five. Eh, four. The time, yeah. Um, I also have, okay, I was looking at my ribbon the other day. I have buffalo plaid ribbon in five different widths. But that's not right. Joe looked at me and he was like, that's just not like you shouldn't you shouldn't do that. I don't know, I kind of like the jute. The problem is the jute is thick and it makes it I wonder if I can it's making it sit funny. I know that I'm not like, so I don't have another color ribbon that goes with it. I don't think I have pink, this pink. I have a blue, but it's not close enough. I don't have a navy that's going to look right. I just have white. And I, this is the, 
only white. Let's try it. We can always take it off. Um, I know, you know what? Um, I have the red and black buffalo plaid in three different widths. And I have buffalo plaid beads. I don't even use that much buffalo plaid, I don't think. Can I edge it? I probably could, but... Um... I'm not sure. So I have never edged a ribbon with ink. How do you do that? Do you just like... Lynn, how do you do that? I can't be the only person that doesn't know, so tell us because... Um, a thin piece of burlap. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that idea, Sue. Um, like something. I'm just gluing it inside of here. Let's see. So I have those. Um, so in our house in Texas, we had no storage. This house, we have so much storage and, mm, um, but we had none. And so I had those, um, what are those called? Elf, Elfa, Elfa, like door racks on the back of all of my like closets and cabinets and the pantry and all of the things, because I just didn't have anywhere to put all the things. So I have two of the, on the back of, I have a door right here and then a door on the other side that goes to like a little storage closet. Um, let's see what I have over here. I wonder if I could even just, hmm. Um, let's see what I have here. Oh, you know what? I have thin burlap. Hold on. Just a second. It's right here. Back here. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Don't leave. Don't leave. Um, like with a sponge. Okay. Kind of like just I would do with my wood. How about that? I like that. Okay. I am going to try that sometime, Lynn. Tonight we're going with the burlap. Um, this, I'm not really sure what this is. It's not necessarily burlap, but it's... Um, Just like you would use like on the decor racks kind of, but maybe not as messy. Um, Sue, good call, my friend. Um, good some straight. Okay. Yep, this is what we're going with tonight. I think it would look pretty with flowers on top. Like a little flower arrangement. But I think I might set something on top of it on the on the um on the tray. So I mean, see this is what I mean. All these <laughs> all the stuff that you have, it comes in handy. It's why you don't get rid of it. Because one day you're like, I might need that. I might need that. So um I don't have my little, um, like my little finger protector things, my little pink finger. So I'm get the safety police after me. What is this? This? Um, you know, Leslie, 
It came from Amazon and it's like, um, it's like really skinny. I used it on ornaments as like hangers or, um, make a little skinny burlap looking bow. It's ribbon of some sort. Um, all right, girls, here you go. Yes, that was a good idea, Sue. So there you go, girls. This is just a little book stack. Um, yeah, and then you can put it on your stuff here. Let me let me take off my... So what do y'all think? Super cute, right? So there you go. It's going to go with this tray back here. But when I put it on the bigger tray, right? And we, I think with the watering can and flowers on top. The sealer, um, Sheila... It's this Dura Clear Satin Varnish. So they make it in several different kinds. Love this stuff. And they make a little bottle. Hold on. Like they make them in bottles this size. So, yeah. All right, ladies. Let me. I know. Are these? These are fun. So, um, guys, and if you make these, if you make some like with whatever, maybe not like this, but a different kind. Um like post them and tag me because I want to see them. So yeah, super cute. But you can do, look just, and then we'll pick some names, but you take this, it's a buck and a quarter and you go and you buy 12 of them and you put them in your craft room. And then every month when you make a tray, if you want something a little extra on it, you grab this, you put paper on the top to coordinate or you paint the whole thing. You can put a little saying, you cannot put a saying Christmas, right? You could make two of them. And so then I could do one in like, like a pink, and you could stack them on top of each other. I mean, just the, you have so many different things you can do with this one little buck and a quarter piece. So this is like a gotta have from the Dollar Treat. The Dollar Treat. So, Leslie, somebody else said that they have done rubber stamps. Um, and the other thing is you wouldn't necessarily have to put words on it. You could put something else. So, yeah. Um, well, thank you, Lisa. So y'all, let's pick a few more names and then <sighs> thank you guys for coming. All right, Sue. Sue, your name is going in the jar. Congratulations, Sue Bachress. Did you already go in the jar tonight? I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, and... Oh, we already got Leslie tonight. Lisa Lambert. And Lisa Whitley. So I can make sure I get you if you win. Congratulations. Woohoo. And I was just love you guys coming to craft with me. Kim Harwood. All right, ladies. Thank you guys so much for coming, for sprinkling, for chatting with me, for helping me decide how to finish this thing. All right. I will see you all uh, Tuesday night if you're in the Joyful Crafting Club because we're tray styling. Wednesday, I think Wednesday night, because I told Joe like during the daytime, we have a limited amount of time to work um, during the day. So I probably craft Wednesday night again. So hopefully I'll see y'all Wednesday and we'll make something else. Mwah, sweet dreams. And I will um, see y'all um, real soon. Thank you, ladies. Good night.